Basic Dhammakaya Meditation Guideline. By the Most Venerable Pramongkhon t e p m u n i the founder of Dhammakaya Meditation Tradition, provided by www. meditation 101. org. After we finished chanting, I would like to tell you the principle of samatha and vipassana meditation. Firstly, it requires the b o d h i k a m p a v a n a Or the impulsion, onward, and b a r i k a m n i m i t or the impulsion on an object. In practicing samatha meditation, both of them go hand in hand. For b a r i k a m n i m i t one needs to picture in mind. An object of meditation, which is clear, like a flawless diamond sphere, about the size of an eye pupil. For women, please visualize it at your left nostril. For men, please visualize the image at your right nostril. Keep it right at the spot. Then, bring your wandering mind into the pictured or the visualized image. This image is as large as your eye pupil, and inside the image, there is another sphere, which is about the size. Of a seed, this image should be clear, like a mirror. Then, practice b a r i k a m p a v a n a by repeating the mantra, "Samma Arahang," three times. While picturing the image of a crystal clear sphere, every time you repeat the mantra, recollect the image of the crystal clear sphere at your nostril, which is the first base of mind. For the second base, move the visualized image to the corner of your eye, right eye for men, and left eye for women. The corner of your eye is right at the point of your tear gland, where your breath can flow through. Picture the image. Of a crystal clear sphere, and rest your mind in the middle of the sphere. Visualize the image of a crystal clear sphere, and rest your mind in the middle of the sphere. Then, repeat the mantra. s a m m a a r a h a n g three times. Picture the image of a crystal clear sphere, and rest your mind in the middle of the sphere. Then, repeat the mantra. s a m m a a r a h a n g three times. 
Next, move the visualized image from the corner of your eye to the middle of your head, not to the left, the right, above, or below, but exactly in the middle of your head. Visualize the image at this base, and repeat the mantra three times. Samma arahang, samma arahang, samma arahang. There is a special technique. For the following step, you have to roll your eyeballs upward tightly as much as possible in order to let your vision turning backward. Then, let the vision turning inside. Once your vision turn inside. Once your vision turns inside, move the visualized image from the third base to the fourth base, which is at the roof of your mouth. Let your mind settle here, not to slip away. Then, repeat the mantra. While your mind is inside the visualized image, located at the roof of your mouth, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. All together. Three times. Next, move the visualized image to the top of your throat, above your Adam's apple. Locate the visualized sphere at the top of your throat, and repeat the mantra. Samma arahang three times. Then, move the visualized sphere into your body. At the end point of your breathing in, imagine that there is a thread stringing from your navel. To the back, and another thread from the left waist to the right waist. Focus your mind right in the middle, at the crossing point of the two threads. This is the point where the Dharma sphere. That forms our human body is located. Focus your mind right here, in the middle of the sphere, and repeat the mantra. Samma arahang. Three times. This is the sixth base of mind. Next, move the visualized sphere upward around two fingers' breadth. At this point, there are five centers: the center to the front, the right, the back, the left, and in the middle. The center in the middle. Is the center of spaciousness element. The center to the front 
is the center of cohesive element. The center to the right is the center of solid element. The center to the back is the center of combustive element. The center to the left belongs to the mobile element. Visualize the image of a crystal clear sphere floating in the middle of your body. This is called Soon, or the seventh base of mind. This is called Soon, or the seventh base of mind. Why do we call it Soon? When a being is to reborn or die, its spirit will be settled at Sip, or the sixth base, right in the middle of the sphere. The spirit or astral body will be in the middle of the sphere at the sixth base. When a father and a mother have an intercourse, at the right moment, it will enter soon. When entering soon, it is lifted from sip to soon, which is to finger's breadth above the sixth base. The size of the lifted sphere is about the same size of an egg yolk. The sphere is clear like a mirror. This is how one is reborn, right as soon. Soon is so important. To reborn in the human world, it is made possible with soon. To enter nirvana, one needs to enter soon as well. However, when one is to die, one goes the opposite way. For reincarnation, one has to go out from soon. But for this incarnation, one goes inside soon. Keep your mind in the middle. Keep your mind still. Don't let it slip away. This is about dying and reborning. You need to know this principle. Once you know the principle, you realize now that your mind starts to wander right in every morning because it is in line towards reincarnation. On the contrary, if your mind is still in the middle, it is to end reincarnation. So, we know ourselves. We don't have to beg from others. We know after we learn it and understand. We have to keep our mind still, right in the middle, to enter the middle of the middle, right in the middle of the middle, not to the left, the right, the front, the back, above or below. We enter the middle of the middle only by stilling our mind. At the right mental concentration, you will see a bright sphere about the size of a full moon or a midday sun. Still your mind further right in the middle of the image. At the right mental unification, another sphere will arise. This sphere is called Sila Sphere. 
then steal your mind further until meeting the right concentration. Another sphere called Samadhi Sphere will arise. Its size is similar to the full moon or the midday sun. Steal your mind in the middle of the Samadhi Sphere. At the right concentration, another sphere called Panya Sphere will arise. Steal your mind further in the middle of Panya Sphere. At the right concentration, you will see another sphere called Vimut Sphere. Steal your mind in the middle of Vimut Sphere and you will see Vimutiyanathasana Sphere when your mind reaches the deeper level of the right concentration. Continue to steal your mind in the middle of Vimutiyanathasana Sphere until you reach the right mental unification and you will see your own spirit or the astral body which is used when you reborn. Oh, here he is. You have been in line with the principle now which I told you earlier. You have to know this principle. Don't let it slip away. It is something permanently fixed I teach you to repeat the mantra, Samma Arahang, because it can help your mind to achieve stillness. Keep repeating the mantra, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. Samma Arahang Samma Arahang At the right mental unification, your mind will become still, right in the middle of the crystal clear sphere. Whether your mind is in darkness or brightness, there is no need to proceed or retreat, simply remain still there. At the right concentration, the darkness in your mind will turn to be a crystal clear sphere. If you see brightness, you will see a crystal clear sphere amidst the brightness of your mind. However, keep your mind still in the middle of the crystal clear sphere only. If your mind is not still and starts to sway, return to repeating the mantra, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. Samma Arahang. When you reach the right concentration, your mind will become still. Once your mind becomes completely still, you don't have to repeat the mantra anymore. Simply keep your mind focused and remain still. If your mind starts to wander, or retreat, return to repeating the mantra again. Keep repeating the mantra, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. until your mind becomes still. 
When your mind is still, you don't have to repeat the mantra any longer. Simply keep your mind focused and keep your mind indifferent. Let it be still, and that's all. Stillness of mind is the top priority. Do not worry about the brightness or darkness of your mind. As Angulimala said to the Lord Buddha, "Be still, monk. Be still." The Lord Buddha replied, "I am already still, but you aren't." He meant the stillness of mind. You should learn and practice until you master the stillness of mind. Don't mention about anything else too much for now. Make sure you can keep your mind still. Once you can do it, we can continue to the next step. Keep your mind still first. You are a human. Can you do it like others? Why not? If you are really committed, you will make it. If you are not committed, you won't achieve. At which level of commitment? To the course of your life. Do not rouse from your seat, even if the blood and flesh in your body. Dry up until there remain only the skeleton and skin. If everyone is committed like this, everyone will be able to make it. I myself sacrificed my life for meditation twice: achieve or die. And my mind remained still. Finally, I made it, achieve or die. And I made it; I didn't die. The Lord Buddha also persevered in meditation. He was willing to meditate until his blood and flesh dried up, and only his skeleton and skin remained. But he could reach the right concentration. In the first shift of the night, he could manage to attain the ability to recall past lifetimes. In the second shift of the night, he attained the divine eye. And in the third shift of the night, the Lord Buddha attained the knowledge for eradicating mental defilements. Which led him to end rebirth. The Lord Buddha meditated all night long. As our teacher, he had much commitment. You are one of his students. You should be committed as well. Be willing to die, if you don't achieve. If the mind is not still. You better die. Really, be committed for the stillness of mind. Once your mind becomes still, you will realize the path of Buddhism. You will understand the right concentration. So, remember well, repeating the mantra, "Samma Arahang." Samma arahang, samma arahang, samma arahang. Make it firm, and don't let it slip away from your mind.